Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. And this Tech Tip will show you how to set up cell constant and temperature calibration on Discovery DC. Also, we'll show you how to prepare indium sample for the calibration. Cell constant and temperature calibration is required after the baseline calibration. Thus, it's required after T1 calibration if using T1 heat flow mode or T0 calibration if using T4 or T4P heat flow modes. The cell constant and temperature calibration is obtained from the same run where indium or other standard is heated through its melting point. To start, use four to five milligrams of indium. After weighing the sample, use the spatula tip to flatten the indium sample, which will enhance the contact between the sample and the bottom of the pan. In Treus, select the calibration tab from the file manager on the left-hand side. Once the calibration window is open, select the calibration setup tab. Remember, you need to perform baseline calibration prior to cell constant and temperature calibration. Check the box beside the cell constant and temperature calibration. Then you will be able to input calibration parameters and information such as ramp rate, operator, and any additional nodes. For instruments with auto sampler, you can add the information of the reference pan in edit tray configuration. You can select the standard you are using in the calibration from the drop-down menu. Here we're using indium. Then input the sample mass and the pan mass if you are using T4P heat flow mode. If using an auto sampler, you can input the sample pan location. If using a new indium sample, check the box beside the pre-melt. Check the box beside perform verification to have a verification run after calibration. You can use the same indium sample used in calibration. Select queue all, and then two experiments will be sent to the running queue. You can start the calibration run from the experiment tab after a final review. Once the calibration run is done, the calibration will be applied automatically, where the measured heat of fusion and onset of the melting are compared to the theoretical values. The cell constant is the ratio of the theoretical value to the measured one, while the difference between measured and theoretical melting values is used for temperature calibration. The verification will be run to verify that the calibration is applied correctly and that the measured cell constant and melting onset of indium are within the verification criteria. In this tech tip, we showed you how to set up cell constant and temperature calibration and prepare indium sample for calibration. Please stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA and thank you for your interest.